babes it's shauna from the stony bay box if you don't know what the stony bay box is it is a female smoking subscription box for women by women this month we are packaging our high tide box which honestly is one of my more recent favorite boxes that we've packaged it's kind of like an ocean mermaid themed box and it turned out really cute and i thought it would just be fun to have you guys follow me along um we've done a video like this before in the past and i haven't done one in a super long time so it's definitely past due i hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it Okay, you guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing today is printing off shipping labels. We're here in the office, and we're going to be using my favorite platform to print, which is Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is really awesome for printing in bulk, so we usually download our labels from CrateJoy, which is a platform we sell our subscription box on, and we put them onto Pirate Ship to get really good deals because CrateJoy's uh, shipping prices are outrageous. So we are using the Rolo printer to print our labels, and the Rolo printer, I think, I believe it was 170 ish dollars. It was like between 170 to 200 dollars, and it is so amazing. It's been working wonderfully for us. Sometimes we do have to just reset it to get it to work smoothly again. But the labels are super affordable per price. I'll put the price cost per label on the screen because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, the Rolo printer was an amazing investment. I 100% recommend for any small businesses starting out. Oh, I'm not. That's not even. <laughs> Cody, you have a new mom? <laughs> so you can see me here counting the shipping labels. We just want to make sure that the count matches the amount we were supposed to print online. And that's basically it for printing our shipping labels. <laughs> All right, so this is like one of my least favorite things to do in the whole wild world, hence why I'm not doing it myself, but that's setting up boxes. You obviously have to pop them up into the box shape before filling them with goodies. All the boxes come flat, obviously, because that's the easiest way to ship them. Um, but some of them are really stinking hard to like get to stay in the little box shape. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so these ones from Uline are extra tricky. They're like extra hard cardboard. So yeah, hate that part. This is what our actual box packaging looks like. Kota, what do you want for Christmas? We have all of our supplies laid out on the table in different boxes or packaging. And then we start with our number one and we put it in the box and then we move on to our next one, which happens to be the water pipe in this one. And now we're putting in our keychain lighter holders. We basically just go in order, adding each Hiya. item. And Hiya. Hair. Oh, a little crinkle hair. Some crinkle hair. All right, anyways, we're just adding the last few items in the box. We have the yellow coffin cosmetics oil and then some dank papers. We also have these little blue pill stashes. One of my favorite items, we also have these really cool hair tie scrunchies that also have a little stash shark. container. So we're adding those on top along with our silicone sharks. Make sure they're in there. These are by Wax Made, and they have a glass bowl, but they're made of silicone. Super cute. Pink, obviously. And then you already know we have to add the finishing touches. So we have our crinkle paper. We change colors every month to try to match the theme. So we have dark blue to go with our high tide box. We're adding a little sprinkle of crinkle, that's what I always say. And then um, the spirit animal piece on top of all of the boxes so we went ahead and did everyone's that was assigned a dolphin for this specific row and then they have the strain of the month card and a pamphlet on top which explains all the items like in the, the box and then we close that bad boy up buy one thing and get a free frappuccino what are you doing <laughs> taking a picture of nobody working it's a video <laughs> you eating you already know packaging weeks involves some good fast food After the boxes are packaged, we have to double check them, count everything in them, and then put them in these mailers. My fragile stick over queen. I go home. So after the labels are put on the mailer, we have a Google Docs form of all the customers, and we have to check the customer off the list to make sure they get their box. 
So we started doing these bubble wrap tests to see if there's any way we can improve our bubble wrapping process so that less items break in the mail. So this is us testing one of our methods and it's so cringy. I think that's good. Should I throw some more? How about I'll just like did this test like three different times and nothing broke any of the times which is crazy so this is the ceramic glass piece that i just threw oh, it's <laughs> open a window Ooh, so smooth yo look at mine look at it it's too no, bad no, no. i don't know how i'm gonna fix this She's fired. <laughs> She's gonna have to be like that. What you watching? What is this? It was giant. It was never gonna fit in there. I don't like how the what the cardboard is the people. Tried to be cute and do stickers this month, but it wasn't a vibe, so we're going back to the custom tape. So this is how crazy the inside of the office looks when we have all of our boxes that need to go out. It's just like one tiny walkway that you can go through and everything else is just boxes. But this is my plant. Yeah, and boxes. Mm-hmm, she's messy. I did not know I was a gum smacker. Ugh, ignore, ignore. Here's my team. Mama, take me out. Of course. Ugh. Come on. Okay, so one of the last steps is taking all the boxes to the post office. We pile them all in the van, as many as we can get. And then we go into the back of the post office and we grab these giant totes on wheels and we fill all of our packages into them. Sometimes we have to do like four, sometimes we have to fill like six. It just depends how many packages we're taking at a time. Hey, who put this dumpster here? And after we have them in the bins, we wheel them into the back of the post office. And this always gives me anxiety because I feel like I should not be here. But yeah, we just have to take them all in and then they're good to go out. All right, Stony Babe. So that's basically everything we did to package our high tide box. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video was so chaotic. I was just filming random clips. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make a video out of it. And then I ended up doing it. So yeah, um, ignore my hood. I have the hattiest of hair going on right now. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested in snagging a box for yourself, our current box theme is fairy tale, and we also have a mini box theme out, Cozy Nights, right now, and it comes with a really cute little tea strainer, and those boxes are only $20 a month. So yeah, definitely check those out. I'll have everything I mentioned listed below, aka just the Rolo printer, the labels, and then my boxes where you can find them, and all that good information listed below. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll catch y'all later.